I've been to the DMV three walk-in and two appointments. It took Gail Richards five trips to the Rockland DMV office over eight months to get her updated driver's license. One of them took six hours, made many friends in line, got in there, and I did not have the proper documents. Richards had to come here to the DMV office over and over, each time told to bring different paperwork. First, it was her birth certificate, then her social security card, then her marriage certificate, and finally her divorce paperwork. Also, she could get her driver's license updated in order to get her passport renewed. Inefficient, um, poorly managed, um, the line staff, as I've mentioned, all have a real bad attitude, which, you know, peters down from the top. Last month, lawmakers called the DMV director out for the long wait times. Jean Shiomoto told them she was using overtime to shorten the wait, paying for it in part with the $47 million already allocated to keep offices open later and on Saturdays. The money that uh, was used for Saturday service that we were not using uh, was spent on overtime for the employees to serve our customers. So the money's gone? The money has been spent. Uh, Okay, well, I, I find that a little disturbing. So we requested overtime records from the DMV over the past two years. It turns out the DMV spent $17 million on overtime for workers at its field offices. Another $5 million was spent on overtime primarily at the DMV headquarters in divisions that don't affect how long drivers wait in line at DMV offices. For instance, the Mandatory Actions Unit, which is responsible for changing driving records, when a license is suspended or revoked, they spent $771,000 on overtime. That unit always is very, very busy. A DMV spokesperson said the mandatory actions unit is unique because it deals with a variety of agencies. It takes about seven to eight months to really know your stuff to be able to help with um, customer transactions. Then there's the data entry unit. A dozen employees dealing with mail-in registration renewals logged more than 170 hours of overtime in a single month. So in June, we did see a really large spike in those different transactions. And so we did offer voluntary overtime for those employees and those units to try to catch up on that, on that increase of work. One employee was paid for 214 hours of overtime. Is that possible? It's possible. It is not normal over time, um, but it definitely was to catch up. For a lot of these transactions, they have to be done in a timely manner. The DMV said the backlog in renewals had nothing to do with the longer waits at the front counters. No, totally separate. Um, our, our field office wait times are a different situation. That's for customers actually coming in and, and processing transactions. The DMV has blamed the wait times on computer outages and the implementation of new federal ID standards called Real ID. Our money for Real ID was used mainly to hire additional employees. Um, we are paying employees for overtime, obviously, but that's not coming out of the cost for our Real ID funding that we received. They just missed the mark in entirely. Republican Assemblyman Jim Patterson has demanded an audit. To me, this is a uh, fundamental failure of the most uh, important and one of the most significant departments in the state of California that affects people everywhere all the time. Democrats have called for an audit too. The number one complaint people calling about is DMV. Assemblyman Jim Cooper says it's time to see where all the DMV dollars are being spent. I asked if this was evidence of mismanagement. I would say so. Those, those are tough words, but someone's not doing their job. Someone needs to help, be held accountable. Um, this has been going on for far too long, and it's not just with the real ID system. It, it's more than that. In spite of all this, lawmakers couldn't wrangle enough votes to bring the state auditor's office in to look at the DMV. But then, just this past week, the governor asked the state finance department to conduct an audit. The DMV says it's trying to make things better. By the end of this year, we want our appointment customers to be waiting no longer than 15 minutes and our non-appointment customers to be waiting no longer than 45 minutes on average. But Gail Richards said she wished it was taken care of before she spent months to get her license renewed. It's just, it doesn't seem like it's user and customer friendly. And I, one of my mantras is, I pay you so you're working for me.